I'm Nico Halilian. Welcome to The Score, where we tackle the hottest and trending topics in sports. The Adams and Soaring Falcons will try to end the first round of the uh, elimination round of UAP 81 on top of the standings, something the school has not done in quite a while. The Soaring Falcons currently have a five win and one loss record, and they will end the first round with a clash with Coach Franz Moaren's former team and former school, the De La Sague Green Archers, who are also in the thick of the Final Four race. Uh, the game will take place Saturday at the Mall of Asia Arena at 4 in the afternoon. If the Falcons lose, they will fall into a three-way tie for first place with uh, FU and defending champion Ateneo. Joining us now in the studio is the head coach of the number one team right now in the UAP, my good friend, huh? Coach Franz Pomare. Hi, Coach. Hi, hi, Miga. Good day to everyone. And yeah, nice, nice to always see you with a with a smile. Winning <laughs> smile, kahit na hindi galing sa panalo, pero winning winning smile pa rin. I saw what you posted. My son showed it to me. What did I post? Ano na naman tinutuloy ko? Ano naman tinutuloy na tinutuloy mo na ako gumawa? No, but uh, uh, okay. You're in a good mood. You've got this nice smile on your face. Although your your team is coming off a loss, so why why are you still positive? Well, um, you know, the game against FA, I think it was a learning experience for us, especially for the kids. Um, probably they thought we were already a dominant team. Um, that's why um, I had to tell them, you know, been working because we, we work hard. You know, we're not the white-collar job uh, type of a team. We're the blue-collar type of a team. Talagang, we, we thrive on our defense. We thrive on those little things. Nagpapantihado ka naman, Coach. Eh. Blue, ano naman blue-collar team? You have quality players. You have players who can score, who can rebound, and they can all defend. Um, siguro, the, the, be, the best description for them, they know their respective roles right now. Um, they don't go out of their um, outside their comfort zone. Um, I make sure that, we make sure, the coaches, that um, we play within our, our system, within the strength of uh, our team. Oh, sige. Uh, let's look at your key players and then you tell you tell us, tell the viewers, ano yung role, uh, role and strength of each player. So I'll have to start with Jerry. It's just like announcing my scouting report. Hindi, wag mo na masyadong galingan yung strength. Kahit yung basic strength lang. Jerry Kahanisi. Well, well, of course, in open uh, secret already, I think uh, for me, not because he's my player, um, uh, I think he's the best uh, shooter right now. He's really a scorer. Um, he has to be a little bit more selfish. In fact, um, I don't know if... Uh, I think you, you were the one... I was talking to you. Um, I mentioned to you that um, it's going to be a dif different um, Jerry Kahanmisi now. Um, probably if people didn't notice it, um, the way he releases the ball, the way he shoots, it's totally different. We adjusted it. Mm -hmm. um, he's a uh, much improved defender right now. Uh, I, I like what you said, that he should be s more selfish, which it sounds weird. Yeah. Pero dapat parang isip rin na, yeah, ano, yeah. Yung... In, in, in other words, kailangan niya makapala mukha. Exactly. Uh -huh. <laughs> exactly. Uh -huh. it, it's just confidence na if Adamson needs to score, give me the ball, pass he, the ball yeah, to me. Yeah, he has to I'll, want it. He has to he's, want he's it. He's just too nice. He's just too nice, yeah, yeah. Oh, you can work on that. You, yeah, yeah, you, you yeah. have that ability to <laughs> turn nice players into yeah. very aggressive uh, players. Uh -huh. um, Sean Manganti. Well, well, Sean, right now, is the captain ball, a very athletic guy. Um, would you believe that um, one of the schools didn't get him? Bulong mo na lang sa Now they started, now they started not seeing him. Um, I think um, we were able to adjust this game. Mm -hmm. I think um, it's not only for the Adamson Falcons, but it's also for his uh, long-term career. Long-term career. Yes. Uh -huh. uh, Ajeric, I can see him in the PBA easily. Yeah. Sean Manganti, you, can you see him with the yeah, PBA career yeah, also? Yeah. yeah. With, with the new um, adjustment that we made, um, you know, the way he's playing, the way um, we're uh, trying to project him as a really uh, leader uh, of our team, mm -hmm. I think he's, uh, he's PBA bound. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, your man in the middle, Papi Sar, mm -hmm. how has he developed from the first time you became a coach up to season 81? Well, um, he, he, in, I'm not saying because uh, we came on board that he really um, developed, but um, we fine tune his game. Um, I think um, if you see him, um, he knows how to play the other imports. Um, we played the Uruz, prior to our game against Urizu, Urizu was the uh, mm -hmm. leading scorer. But um, he held them to um, six points. Same thing during the game against Ateneo. Um, 
I think he knows his role, his specific role right now. If we need to score underneath, uh, he's willing to do that. Um, get those dirty things, uh, rebound, screen, and everything. Okay, and uh, finally, I know you have a lot of key players, but this one I just have to ask about him because currently right now, he's my favorite Adamson Soaring Falcon, Simon Camacho. All along, I thought ako. Hindi ka naman na uh, sorry. Okay, 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 okay. Anyway, <laughs> anyway um, well, si Simon is, uh, you know, um, okay, how, how will I say it? Anyway, um, I was kind of disappointed with him uh, last season the, or his first season. In fact, I asked him not to show up in practice already. Eh. Uh, yung uh, ang tamang term dun eh, pinapauwi mo na. Yes, pinapauwi ko na. Um, in other uh, words, quit the team. Tama yeah. na, wala uh, na. Sabi ko, uh, I don't think you're gonna get playing time. Uh, I don't think uh, you'll be successful. Anyway, um, you're about to graduate. And then, IT course yan eh. I know. Uh, I know. So, this, this ko, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Um, you're gonna graduate. You know, might as well concentrate that. But in spite of that, lo and behold, start of the training camp, he's there, working hard, showing me that he deserves uh, to be part of the team. Um, you know, one thing with Simon, he's the type of player that every coach would, uh, would, uh, would be happy. Because you don't have to tell me, you don't have to tell him to crush the boards. You don't have to tell him to dive. Uh, he knows his role very well. He knows his strength. He knows his limitation. He, um, in fact, um, for me, para siyang uh, I, I, I can use him as a Swiss Army knife. Swiss right? Army knife. If, if you notice it, he can defend a smaller guy. He can defend yes, a bigger guy. Yes. He plays the three. He plays the four. Ah. I, I love it. I love it yeah. that. Uh, he, this season, having covered you know yeah, yeah. Simon the past two years, mm -hmm. he's clearly more confident. Mm -hmm. uh, he knows his role on defense. Like the disrupt the shana mga passing yes. lane. His anticipation is really really good. I think he's a leading block shot. Ano pa? Uh, guy. Yeah, he's rebounding well. And yun na hindi na siya na sinisindak ng mga hindi na siya masindak ng yes, mga kalaban. Yes, yes. You know what? If you see him in in practice, it's the same. The, the way he's playing, it's the same. Yeah. The, the energy that he gives during practice, um, those little things, he always does that during practice. So what was the major turner? Was it you telling him na umuwi ka na? <laughs> I, 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 I think um, that's the type of player that every coach would want. Yeah. Um, willing to accept the challenge. Willing to accept the pressure. Kaya nga, I've been stressing the, to the players. Eh. You know, in life, there's always pressure. You know, just crossing the street, there's pressure already. Yeah. Baka masagasaan ka. Yeah. It's how you accept it. It's how you you um, go around or you accept the challenge of there's going to be pressure always. Well, if you're a Franz Pomar and you, mm. uh, <laughs> you've you dealt with uh, <laughs> challenge and pressure almost uh, all your life and mm. especially your basketball career, we show the team standings and then people will see Adamson is on top again mm -hmm. despite uh, coming off a loss. But you guys are number one. You are going to You can tell your players, I know how it feels to be on top of the UAP. Mm -hmm. But what about your players? How are they getting used to life as the number one team in the league? Yeah, that, that's the um, thing we've been preaching that, especially the assistant coaches. Uh, you know, you don't read too much social media. You know, people will say that, you know, Ano na kayo? Immortals na kayo? You'll go all the way? You know, th those, those things, the, the standings, sabi ko, after one game, they, they, they tend to forget that. What's important is always to look forward to the next game. Because, um, bali wala yung game mo if you played, you know, really well, but the next game, sama mo, wala na. Makakalimutan na yung the rest. Important is consistent. We have to be consistent in all aspects of our game. So, if I were to guess, uh, not having a perfect record anymore, is not that the, not a big deal to you? Well, if you tell me uh, two months ago, three months ago, after uh, six games should be number one, probably I'll tell you, you're, you're trying to pull my leg. No? <laughs> uh, I, I guess even the players. But, um, you know, deep inside me, um, I think the coaches know it. Uh, we, we, we have a team. Probably we're not that, um, we're quite under the radar. Because, well, not anymore. Yeah, because of, the, of what yeah. we, we accomplished in the last uh, six games. But let's face it, they don't consider us a big school. But with this one, I think um, people, uh, they, 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 I think they started. They, they, they notice us right now. Oh, yeah, first game pala. Kinala niyo natin. na kayo kagad, Coach. Okay, we'll have more of uh, Coach Franz here on the score. And we'll ask him when we return. Does he miss coaching Lasal? Will he ever coach the Ateneo Blue Eagles? We'll ask all of those questions after this break. Stay with us.